Hello, my name is Kevin Sullivan, physical therapy assistant at Zuckerberg San Francisco General Hospital. And today I am here for you. We're going to go over the importance of sitting posture. Many of us have jobs nowadays that we're sitting much more than we used to. So let's begin. The first tip is when you're sitting, don't sit too long. No one should sit really more than 20 or 30 minutes. Every 20 or 30 minutes, you should get up, move around, get the circulation flowing through your body, and this will help your lower back. Now, when you're going from a sitting to a standing position, there's some tips you may want to think about. The first one is, before you stand up, scoot to the edge of the chair. By doing this, you're going to be in a better position for your lower back to stand up. The second thing is, as you come forward, you're not going to use your back muscles when you stand up. You're going to use the hip muscles. So as I'm on the edge of the chair and I come forward, I squeeze my hip muscles and stand up nice and straight. Um, the same thing when I'm sitting back down, I'm going to use those hip muscles. Let me show you from a different view. Same concept, scoot to the edge of the chair, and as I lean forward, my back is straight. I'm using the mobile hip joint to hip hinge as I come up and stand up straight. This is a great strategy uh, for helping your lower back. Now, some other important tips for sitting. You need a chair that fits you. This chair that I'm at is a great chair because one reason is it's got a back support. So my back is supported as I'm sit sitting. The other thing is your feet should be touching the floor when you're sitting. Your feet should be grounded on the floor. If your feet are dangling in the air, that's putting a lot of stress on your lower back. Conversely, if you're really tall and your legs are too high, you need to raise your feet up a little bit. Another great tip is your knees should be slightly lower than your hips. By sitting in this position, you're decreasing the stress on the lower back. Other important tips, you can exercise your stomach and engage your core while you're sitting in your chair. To do this, you would just bring your belly button Towards your spine, count five, one, two, three, four, five, and relax. This is a great exercise that can help your lower back. Another important tip is armrests. If you have a chair with armrests, you can do something called decompression of the spine, which can help your lower back. How do you do this? You simply just put your hands on the armrest, Gently put some weight into your arms and lift up slightly. And by doing this for about five seconds, you will decompress your spine and potentially lower your back pain. Other important tips, you can use a towel roll. Now, we know that sometimes there's situations where you're stuck in a chair. You may not be able to get out of the chair. You may be on a long car ride. What you could do is, to mitigate the situation, put a towel roll behind your back, and this will support your back and help you to sit up straight. These are some great and important tips that can help your back to heal and prevent it, prevent it from getting injured in the future. Standing posture is an important component of protecting your lower back. So let's begin. As you're standing, one great tip to use is find a wall. Walls are free. It costs you nothing to stand up against a wall. And you can practice this tip in the morning, in the afternoon, and at night. And by doing this, you would get up against a wall, engage your stomach muscles, don't lean back too much, but feel your back against the wall. Lift your chest up, pull in your stomach, one, two, three, four, five, and by doing this tip, 
it's going to help you stand up straight throughout the day. The problem is many people are very straight up against the wall, and as soon as they come off, they collapse down. So you want to find more of that neutral spine. As you're sitting, you don't want to lean too far forward. You don't want to lean too far back as well. When you're leaning too far back, you end up hanging on your ligaments of your spine, and this can damage and injure your spine. It's better to engage your stomach and maintain more of a neutral posture. Other things about standing. Many of us have jobs that we have to stand for long periods of time. Simple things that you can do is lean on something and take some pressure off your back. And I'll show you one simple tip. If you had a table like this, you could lean forward like this, keep your back straight, hold this position, and relax your legs, keep your legs loose and relaxed, never lock your knees back. And by holding this position, I am tractioning my spine and taking pressure off my spine. When you're done with this, after a minute or so, make sure you use your arms to push yourself back up. These are some successful tips that can help protect your back and allow you to stand throughout the day without lower back pain. We're going to talk about the importance of protecting your back when you go to bed at night by taking a few minutes to set up pillows and towels to support your back and to try to keep your back relatively straight, you can get a better night's sleep and increase your probability of waking up with less back pain in the morning. The positions we're gonna to cover today are sleeping on your side, sleeping on your back, and also sleeping on your stomach. So let's begin. I'm gonna take a pillow and I'm also going to take a towel. And what we're going to do is we will put one towel here and we'll start with the sideline position and that will support our waist. Here I've got a nice towel and all I did was roll up this towel and this works great as a neck support and it allows your neck to stay in what is called neutral spine. You'll place your pillows here. This will be for your waist. And as you lay on your side, pillow between your leg. Now, this is a very comfortable position. My neck is supported. My pelvis and lower back are supported. And the pillow between my legs also helps to keep what we like to refer to as neutral spine. So this is a great position for side sleeping. The second position would be supine, sleeping on your back. For that, uh, we recommend that you put a pillow under your knees. Now, if you have knee pain or you had knee surgery or you have any knee problems, we don't recommend putting anything under your knees. But if you're a back sleeper, by putting a pillow here under your legs, you're decreasing the pressure on your lower back. And this is a very comfortable position to sleep in. The third position would be sleeping on your stomach. And we typically don't like people sleeping on their stomach because it can add too much lower doses or curve in your back. But one way to mitigate this is to put a pillow under your stomach like this, and this will help decrease some of the excessive curve that can develop from sleeping on your stomach. Now, the other thing that's very important is moving in bed. For many of us, 
Um, moving in bed can be problematic. So when you move in your bed, you want to think about having your shoulders and hips stacked. What does that mean? It means as you move, if your hips go one way, your shoulders will go that way. If I go to my right and my shoulder turns to my right, my hips go with my body. This way we avoid twisting in bed. And this brings us to the final part, how to get out of bed every day. All of us have to get out of bed every day. How many times a year do we get out of bed? You're right, over 300. And the best way to do it is called log rolling. And let's learn about that. Number one, as you're getting up, lay on your side. From this position, you're gonna gently push your hand here, and as your hand pushes up, simultaneously, your legs will come over and off the bed, and you will almost sit up naturally with very little effort. This takes a lot of pressure off the lower back. And if you can do this on a regular basis, you can protect your back and get your day off to a great start.